Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today, we have a fun new deck. It is called the Dragon Slipper. And it is a wild three color deck that I like to make, but hey, if I can put as many colors in the deck as I can, I will do it. Oh yeah, for sure. But before we get into it guys, I just want to remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out, see what you like, see what you don't like. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support and we greatly appreciate it. With that, let's delve into the Dragon Slipper and our girl Faria. So, Faria is the ruler and she is the white blue ruler from the starter decks of the first set. And she's got Stranger 10, so blah blah blah, Stranger deck, no more than two of each. Uh, Judgments is two white and a blue, and Energize is a white or a blue. When you play a light Regalia, and if you play hers, which is Excalibur, you get to choose two instead. So we're going to choose two. First two options are choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. Yep. Destroy target Rested Resonator. Draw a card. Or pay zero for Judgment. So she's kind of a controlly ruler because you can be like, kill that dude, draw a card. Because I mean, that's really that's, good. That's pretty good, yeah. Or you can be like, get a stranger, draw a card, and get just all the extra card value. And like, her Excaliburs in this deck are going to do mostly get a stranger because you don't have a lot of sword arts in here, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, and then her judgment side is she's a 10 10 with precision. And she enters, you choose a stranger from your stranger deck at random and put it into the field. And then God's Art, pay a white and a blue. This card gets plus four, plus four, drain eternal until the end of the turn. Choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. So pretty good. Yeah. So she can God's Art and be like, I'm a 14 14, and now I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. And gain a lot of life while I do it. And get free dudes. Yeah. So Simple as that. A whole bunch of extra dudes. The fact that she brings in a dude with the flip is pretty good. Yeah. All right. So her strangers, we're running Undying the Spirit, is a blue and one for a 7 7. With quick cast and flying, and it enters, you return up to three target non J resonator, non magic stone entities to their owner's hand. So you're just bouncing regalias or bouncing their additions or whatever you need to bounce. Yep. Uh, next is Siegfried, the Dragon Knight. He is a 7 10 with flying, barrier red, barrier black, and enter, you destroy target rested resonator. Pretty so, good. Again, another way to kill a rested resonator. Uh, next up is the White Wizard. He is one white for a 5-7 with Drain. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to resonators with 1-1 one -one counter on them by chance and abilities. And enter, you distribute two 1-1 one -one counters onto two J resonators you control. Yep. So you're like, cool, that dude and that dude. They don't... They're just bigger and they're protected. Yeah. Next is the Blue Wizard. She is one blue for a 6-6 six -six with quick cast. Enter, cancel target automatic ability of a resonator. Yeah. She is kind of a must-have if you're playing blue as a stranger. Definitely. Um, and then Twin Swords of Water's Mercy. It is one blue, 6-6, six, six, quick cast. Put Target Resonator on top of its owner's deck. Oh, uh, yeah. All of these are under two for a reason, and we'll get to it. So they are extra bonus for that. And that one definitely slows down the enemy for sure. Oh, yeah. All right. With our first... Uh, Resonator we have is Vala the Bewildering Mage, one of my hated cards ever to play <laughs> against. It's two blues, six six. This card uh, may not be banished as the cost to play any spell or ability. Why? Because enter, switch this the control of this card and target Resonator your opponent controls. No stipulation, that's it. They yeah. just like, we're trading places, you can't sack this card to get rid of it. So yeah, thanks. Dude, she's so strong for a two drop. Cause I mean, yeah, they can, yeah. they can have a way to kill their own dude or whatever after target. But if they don't, then you get their 10, 10 and they get a six, six. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks. Super ridiculous. Next up is the twin robots. It is one blue for a two, two. He enters, you put a two, two water machine resonator token yeah. into the field. So you're just getting extra little dudes. Pretty cute. This one, the spirit of memory. So one drop four, four flying. Remove this card from the game, search your deck for a card named Spirit of Memory, and put it into your hand. This card gains plus one, plus one for each card named Spirit of Memory in the removed area. So if they try to kill it or whatever, then you just remove it and go get another one and it'll be bigger. So it may sound kind of weird while we're playing those little dudes, but they are for a board Gwyber. We're playing Gwyber deck. Yeah, yeah. Gwyber the White Dragon. He is one and four for a 12-12 flyer. You pay two less to play this for each resonator you control that came into play this turn. So... The little robot makes an extra dude. Spirit of Memory, when it gets removed, it goes and gets another one so you can play it to play Gwyver. Yeah. So you're like, hey, free dudes, play Gwyver. Yeah, that's pretty good. And the next one, of course, because it has to be in the deck, 
as Perfect Loki. It's a black and blue quick cast. It's an 8-1 High God. But this card gains plus zero, plus one for each card in your graveyard. And then when you enter, uh, J Resonators, your opponent's control, get minus zero, minus X until end of turn where X is the number of cards in your graveyard, which is insane. She has a lot of other text, but that doesn't matter. Nope, we don't care. We're not playing Loki, does not matter. It just It just makes it where you just win. All right, one of the key cards of this deck is Air Valkyrie of Mercy. Yep. She has two white and one for a six, seven. She should have flying because she's got wings. Yeah, okay, exactly. Whatever. Whatever. Um, you put target resonator with total cost two or less from the graveyard into the field. So she can bring back all of your strangers if they're dead because they're all under two. Yep. And almost all the dudes we've talked about except Gwyber. Yep. So bringing her into play and then bringing back Avala is one of the stupidest things I've been able to do. Or bring him back a perfect Loki, and you're just like, cool, kill your board. Just kill your board, thanks. Thanks. It, it just gets ridiculous. And twin robots, you just get extra dudes. Yeah, exactly. All right, the next one is the Mask Prince. It's a blue and a black, 6-6. Six, six. Enter. Search your deck for a card named Cinderella, the Valkyrie of Glass, and put it in the field. Then shuffle your deck. If you control Cinderella, you may instead choose a card from a stranger deck at random and put it in your hand, which is awesome. Tap, put a glass counter on Cinderella uh, that you control. Yeah. He is also a two drop, so you can get him off of an air, which is pretty silly because then you go get an extra free dude. Yep. And then the dude you go get is Cinderella, the Valkyrie of Glass, and she has two blue for an 2 8 fairy tale. When this card enters your field, put a glass counter on it. This card gets plus six, plus zero, oh, as long as you can, as long as it has a glass counter. Whenever this card deals damage, remove a glass counter. Pay two blue to return this card to its owner's hand. So. Yes. With her and the Mask Prince, he can just keep putting counters on her, so she's always an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yep. Um, she's she's little, but she's kind of a beat stick if you get there. Yeah. And since she's 2-drop, she gets to get returned also. All right, the next one, of course, is one of the most powerful little cards. is Sill of Lineth. It's a 1-white addition. Enter. Remove target non-J roller, non-Magic Stone your opponent controls from the game. And when this leaves the game, then they get it back. But it probably won't happen that, that often. Yeah. Also, with that Seal of Lineth, if you have an Undyne, you can trigger it to where they don't get their dude ever. It's kind of stupid, but you can. <laughs> that is true. Because you're like, Seal of Lineth, in response, play an Undyne, and then do the triggers the right way, and they don't get their dude. Yeah, or if they kill the Seal of Lineth, you're like, well, nope, never mind. Yeah, but boop, bring Thanks. it back. Next is Light of the Sacred Spirit. It is one white, quick cast. If you have Lars, you choose both, but we don't. Nope. Uh, you can remove target resonator 9 attack or more from the game, or you can search your deck for a 5 hero resonator, reveal it, and put it in your hand, which Vala is a 5 hero, so you can go search her if you need to. Nice. But mostly you're just going to be like, pay 1, remove that dude. Yeah. Because that's mostly what On you're trying to do. Yeah. Thanks. Not ridiculous at all. And then, of course, next is Excalibur, her regalia. It's a blue and a white. It has Mythic, so you can only have one on the field. Your J ruler gets plus 4, plus 4, which is awesome. Tap, produce two wheels of any combination of white and blue. Spend it only for God's Arts, Strangers, or Sword Arts. So, there we go. As powerful as that is. Yeah. And mostly you're playing Strangers on that, or God's Art. Yeah. Uh, the stones, they're really easy. We got two Adoraticus Memoria, which is the white blue stone, like the, the ruler stone, I guess you would call it. Yep. Uh, we have some of the Magic Stone of Light Vapors, which is the actual white blue stone, and then Magic Stone of Dark Depths, which is the blue black. Uh, we only have like three or four blue black cards in the deck, so it's not really a big issue to get the black, but you do need them. Yep. And then we don't really do sideboards anymore. We do honorable mentions because they're cards that could be played or used in sideboard or in main deck, just how you want to do it. Uh, and the first one we got is the Nameless Knight. She is a white and a blue for a 6 6 Knight, Knight of the Round Table. She enters, remove target Darkness Resonator from the game. Solid. Yeah. Your opponent pays two more to play activate abilities and resonators they control. Yeah. And then whenever a stranger enters the field under your control, you can pay a white. If you do, put this card from the graveyard into your hand. So she can return herself with plain strangers, and she auto removes a black, uh, like a darkness resonator, and that that's good. Yeah. Paying two and getting rid of a dude is awesome. So darkness is like one of the strongest colors I think right now. Yeah. The next one, of course, is Aura the Sacred Sword. It is a uh, sword art. Blue and a white quick cast. You may have entities you control gain barrier until in the turn. Draw a card. You and entities you control. And then if you control Excalibur and a J ruler named Faria, uh, you can pay this without paying its mana cost. 
Yeah. So you're just like for free. Yeah, if you're if you're anticipating a lot of kill cards, then you want to have this in the either main board or sideboard at least. Yeah. Because when Shafari is flipped and you have Excalibur, you're just like, cool, don't target me or her. Yeah. Thanks. That just don't. Don't do it. But that is it, guys, for Dragon Slipper. The deck looks super fun. I can't wait to just be like, hey, Gwyber, you know, play Gwyber. Of course. That's what right? he does. Yeah. Uh, but the deck list will be down below. Go check it out, and we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all our future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.